Hello everyone! Welcome to our super fun Bigfoot story time. I am Miss Lauren here to present you this amazing unique story time. So what we're gonna do first is we are gonna stand up on our feet and we're gonna sing our hello song. And our hello song starts with us clapping our hands, then we stomp our feet, then we jump up and down, and then we wave. So it goes like this. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends in story time, we clap and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends in story time, we stomp and sing hello. Then we jump and sing hello. We jump and sing hello. With our friends in story time, we jump and sing hello. Then we wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends in story time, we wave and sing hello. We're gonna take a deep breath in. We're gonna let it out. And then we are gonna sit down, crisscross applesauce on the floor or in your comfy chairs or lying down, however you wanna enjoy this story time. We are gonna start things off with the book, The Boy Who Cried Bigfoot. Mm. This is the story of my friend Ben and how we first met. This is Ben. Ding ding. Ben liked to tell stories. Look everyone, it's Bigfoot. And the dog says, what, where? He liked to tell stories. Well, 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 I don't see him. A lot. Bigfoot! Even the dog's tired of him. All the practice made him a pretty good storyteller. And he looked like this, and he sounded like this. Grrr! He even used props. What a tenacious little fellow he was. Look at that, he's making the footprints himself. People came from all over town to see Bigfoot. They waited and they waited, but the creature never appeared. He walked right through here, see? After many hours with no sightings, everyone suspected that Ben has, had made it all up. Bigfoot isn't real. He is real. His feet were this big. He was right here. I saw him. Everyone left. Now we're mad. Click. I don't remember crossing paths with you, little foot, I said. It's Bigfoot. I don't normally talk to a little foot. But there was something about this Ben I liked. He was a determined fellow. I also liked his bike. I asked, mind if I take it for a ride? B -b 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 Bigfoot? Bigfoot, Bigfoot, Bigfoot is stealing my bike! Coming with? And my dog! Alas, no one believed Ben anymore. No one came running. It seemed Ben found being alone to be a little scary. <gasps> ding, ding. Fortunately for Ben, he wasn't alone for long. Ben, where are you? Come home, it's time for dinner. And it was time for me to go too. I'm sorry I created such a ruckus, Ben said. But I really did see him, Mom. Oh, Ben, she said, let's go home. So Ben and his family went home and had a hot meal. 
I don't know what a hot mess is. How to me <laughs> what a hot meal is but I do know that Ben learned the importance of always telling the truth and he wanted everyone to know he really had seen me so the next morning he set out to prove it what a tenacious fellow he is the end so I've got a rhyme for us friends I've got a rhyme and some movements that we're gonna do and this rhyme is called I think thought I saw a Bigfoot. So we're gonna do it two times and we're gonna go through the motions. So just do what I do, are you ready? I thought I saw a Bigfoot peeking through the trees. He looked so big and scary. But could he see me? He had huge teeth, show your teeth. Some wild hair. He had two feet as big as fields, and his eyes were made to glare. I thought I saw a Bigfoot peeking through the trees, but by the time I got a better look, he disappeared with ease. Okay, one more time. I thought I saw a Bigfoot peeking through the trees. He looked so big and scary. But could he see me? He had huge teeth, some wild hair. He had two feet as big as fields. <laughs> His eyes were only made to glare. I thought I saw a Bigfoot peeking through the trees, but by the time I got a better look, he had disappeared with ease. Very good, guys. So the next book I have is a really fun book that I like. It's called Buttercup the Bigfoot. Willa Cathcart, Wilmerding, was the bravest little girl in the world. She climbed the tallest trees. She swam in the deepest waters. She petted the meanest dogs. She even liked spiders. Willa was good in school. She could spell H-E-L-I-C-O-P-T-E-R, helicopter, and played the oboe in orchestra. She was in scouts. She had 326 merit badges. And on Friday nights, Willa liked to climb up on the roof and howl at the moon all night long. Let's all do that together. Howl! Howl! <laughs> Willa, you must calm down and stop howling on the roof, her mother told her. It is time to concentrate on school and scouts. So Willa decided to go someplace her mother couldn't hear her. She packed her bag and went to the mountains. High in the mountains lived a Bigfoot. She loved to scare hikers. She would leap out of her hiding place and roar and show her fangs and stomp her huge feet. Then she would howl, Ow! The hikers would drop their gear and run. The Bigfoot would take it all home and decorate with it. So she's got some, some flashlights up here, some ski poles. She's got some first aid kits. High up on the steepest peak, Willa reached the Bigfoot's favorite scaring place. The Bigfoot leaped out and screeched, Ow! Willa smiled. Ow! She said. The Bigfoot snarled and waved her long, strong arms. She jumped up and down so hard she almost shook the mountain. I like you, Willa said. You've got big feet. Then she went, ow! Finally, the Bigfoot bent down and Willa giggled. And Willa, I'm going to start that page over. Finally, the Bigfoot bent over Willa and wiggled her sharp claws. She growled and showed her fangs. Willa threw 
threw back her head and howled her favorite howl. Oh! The Bigfoot just stood there. What's your name? Willa said. Her, the Bigfoot said. Your name is Buttercup, okay? Willa said. The Bigfoot nodded. I'm getting cold, Willa said. So Buttercup picked Willa up and carried her back to her cave. What a lovely home. Let's play house, Willa said. You be the baby, I'll be the mommy. Rrr, said Buttercup. I'll teach you, Willa said. Willa gave Buttercup a bath. Then she combed and brushed all her long hair. When Willa was done, Buttercup felt wonderful. You're a good baby, Willa said. That night they slept cuddled together, warm and happy. Willa and Buttercup did everything together. They leaped up and down the mountains. They soared over mighty crevices. They made each other crowns of flowers. But their favorite thing of all was to climb up on a high peak and howl at the moon all night long. Howl! One day, a helicopter landed. Willa's mother got out. Willa, I miss you, she said. It's time for you to go back to school and scouts. Can Buttercup come too, Willa asked. I'm afraid not, Willa's mother said. It's a small helicopter. Willa hugged Buttercup. Don't forget how to play house, Willa said. Buttercup sadly waved goodbye. Willa went back to school. She played eight new pieces on the oboe, and she earned 27 more merit badges, but she missed Buttercup. One Friday night, when she was softly howling to herself, she heard something. It was coming closer and closer. <gasps> it was Buttercup bounding over the rooftops. They hugged. I have been so lonely, Willow said. Her. Buttercup said. Buttercup likes being the little girl. She's learned to divide and how to spell er. In the school orchestra, she plays the tuba. She even goes to scouts. She won a merit badge for her flower arrangement. Everything is fine. And every Friday night, Buttercup and Willa climb up to the roof and howl at the moon all night long. The end. Wasn't that a great story? So up next, my friends, I have a flannel board. And I think it's really fun. So I'm going to set it all up first. First up, we have... We've got a bottle of shampoo and a bar of soap. But do we know, can we guess who is gonna be in this bathtub? Who are we talking about today, my friends? We're talking about Bigfoot! Here he is, and he's gonna hop into the tub. Oh no, the, the bubbles fell. That's okay, I'll grab them. So here is Bigfoot. And there's a Bigfoot in my bathtub. There's a Bigfoot in my bathtub, and it's really quite a pain because he's been there for an hour and his hair is clogging up the drain and he's peeling off the tiles and he's knocking off the spout. There's a Bigfoot in my bathtub. I have to get him out. There's a Bigfoot in my bath bathtub. How he got there, I don't know. I cannot even think about how I will ask him to go. He's used up all the soap. And he's drinking the shampoo. There's a Bigfoot in my bathtub and I don't know what to do. There's a Bigfoot in my bathtub. He's using up my bubbles. This looks like it could be the start of all my troubles. I guess Bigfoot can stay in my bathtub. If 
He promises to scrub. <laughs> what do you guys think? Would you let Bigfoot stay in your bathroom? I don't know if I'd let him eat my soap and destroy my tub like that. We'll keep him up just for fun for the last story before our goodbye song. So our last book is called I Love My Fur. Hey, Bigfoot. Your fur looks beautiful today. What, mine? No way. Yes way, it's so thick and shiny. The most beautiful ever. R really? I love my fur. It's so fluffy. It's so soft. It's the most beautiful fur anyone's ever seen. Everyone agrees. It's all anybody wants to talk about. Have you seen my new book? Did you see my fur today? Oh, uh, yes. I try my best to help others. Maybe if you brush your fur every day, it'll look like mine. You should wear your hair down the way I do. If you condition your hair, if you condition it, your hair will be as soft as mine. I don't have hair. My hair is snakes. Bigfoot, I think it's time for a fur cut. Mother, fur this beautiful should never be cut. Never, ever, ever. Show and tell. Look at his hair. It's getting a little bit out of control when you think. Yes, everyone loves my fur. Oh no, it's all dirty. Everyone's having fun without Bigfoot. Maybe because he talked about his hair too much. Oh, he's going to the barber shop. Bigfoot, your fur, your beautiful fur. Enough about my beautiful fur. How's your turtle? How's your game? How's your fangs? love my fur. It's so shiny. It's so soft. But I also love what my friends like to do. The end. Okay guys, so my goodbye song is usually You Are My Sunshine. So we're gonna all cuddle up with some toys, with some blankets, or we're just gonna sway as we sing it. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. All right, guys, we will see you next time. Thank you for joining me and keep your eyes peeled for Bigfoot. We will see you guys next time.